Uh, one of them is what is going on in Gaza at the moment. Yep. Now, there's some footage that's been doing the rounds. I think we can play um, a, a little bit of it, but I do have to give you a warning. This is a uh, graphic content, uh, but it's, a little, uh, it's some footage from ITV. They were interviewing a man, um, a Palestinian, and, and then he was later shot, it's claimed, by IDF forces. Let's have a little watch and a listen. Then this happened. The interviewee had been shot and fatally wounded. You can see them place their flag on his chest. As he was carried away, the white flag was turning red. Right, very upsetting footage, and I think you know we should always, in war, call out to any you know whether you know whoever side you on, call out acts that are, are not, uh, are, are you know are not part of the you know, the rules of war. That there is there is still you know rules for this. Um, but Chris Barry, you are very very clear as far as you're concerned. This is faked, not faked by the ITV team who, who were there doing very dangerous work, by the way, but you believe that this is the hallmark of a faked shooting? It's classic uh, <clears throat> fake, I'm afraid. Uh, one could go through in detail saying what's wrong with it, but this, this is something that we've seen all throughout this uh, campaign, that, that the Gazans and Hamas keep putting out these fake videos, and it's hooked a lot of people. What's fake about it, though? Explain okay, to us. so if you look at the detail, uh, you've got changes in clothing, uh, you can see the break at, at certain cases where they've actually done a retake. Uh, there's no evidence that it's an Israeli sniper at all. You just hear a gunshot as well. And we also know that Hamas do force flag activity. Yeah. So even if the I guy mean, had been shot, yeah. it could actually be a set up by Hamas who say, here's an opportunity with an ITV crew, which we know about, of course, because we're controlling this. OK, let's shoot the guy. Yes, because they wouldn't be given access otherwise. But the interesting thing, of course, you know, someone's been shot. It doesn't seem to be, maybe it's different footage there, anyone attempting to save this man, but you put the flag on top. Very good imagery. Yeah. This has gone round the world. This has gone yeah. viral. And people are bleating about it and all that sort of thing. But and I, I was going to talk about this on the show and say, look, you know, we need to call out when, 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 you know, when Israeli soldiers, you know, but commit it, war crimes, we should call it out. But you notice there's no fear from the other people. There's been a sniper, apparently, who shot a guy. And the other people are acting as if they're on a, on a stage set. You know, they're not Which running for they, cover, are they? Do you believe that they were? Oh, no, it's okay. ridiculous. I mean, right. if you've been in any situation like that, none of the ingredients, including the ketchup that's been used as blood, I'm afraid, are authentic. You're not convinced by it. Uh, Very interesting. Um, let's talk about something else that none of us is convinced by, and, and this is rather a lighter story than, than that, and that's how to make tea. There is something <laughs> of a war of words between the US and the, and the UK over how to make a proper cup of tea. I have to say, it's probably one between me and my in-laws, because I have the weakest, southernest, most... I mean, it's not... It's, it's, it's an excuse for tea, the tea I have. But uh, the US Embassy in London mm -hmm. stepped in yesterday to make a statement online after an American scientist advised adding a pinch of salt to cups of tea. This is Michelle Francie. Encourage drinkers to steep their tea quickly by dunking a squeeze in the bags and then add a tiny drop of salt. Now, this has caused outrage. Not as much outrage, I don't think, actually, as a woman in America who caused even more outrage by suggesting you make your tea in a microwave, and this is all tied in together. Let's have a little watch and listen to this, frankly, lunatic woman in America suggesting that. So fill our mug with water, put it in the microwave, set it for a minute, pour the milk in, drop your tea bag in, add the sugar, give it a little stir, and that's how you make hot tea. I mean, it's not how you make hot tea. Also, we don't have to end every sentence like this. And why are you making a video about how to make tea? You very strange lady. Anyway, this went very viral uh, uh, last year. Um, but uh, this US scientist has caused quite a, lot of, uh, quite a lot of consternation. I was delighted to see the US embassy. They issued a press release, put it out online on, uh, on Twitter, X, whatever it's called, saying, today's media reports of an American professor's recipe for the perfect cup of tea has landed our special bond with the United Kingdom in hot water. Tea is the elixir of camaraderie, they say, a sacred bond that unites our nations. We cannot sit idly by just such an outrageous proposal threatens the very foundation of our special relationship. They say they would. They want to ensure the good people of the UK that the unthinkable notion of adding salt to Britain's national drink is not official United States policy and never will be. And when it comes to tea, we stand as one, saying the US Embassy will continue to make tea in the proper way by microwaving it. Shots fired, people. Shots fired.
Well, OK, I mean, uh, as we were saying, um, the Americans were very keen on adding salt to the tea back in 1776. Yeah, Boston when, Tea Party. The Boston Tea Party. But if you go... When we go to America, do you ever see a kettle in a hotel room? What is it about...? And I in mean, France as well, they don't have kettles. No, no. Apparently, I... it's because we have kettles because we can't afford microwaves. No, it's because it makes a better cup of tea. And also, whenever I go abroad, I always take my own tea bags with me. I do as well. Yeah, so... terrible. <laughs> it's terrible, isn't it? No, no, you have to, because they just don't get it. They really don't. Lipton, yeah. no, you do not make... Property. It's, a, it's a bag but of British. Do you know what though? If you, you can find something that people feel more strongly about. Apparently, our favourite drink in this country now is actually coffee. I no, I mean I'm sorry, it's still no, no. first thing in the morning, it's a cup of tea. The thing when I've been abroad, which I do as we know quite a lot, first thing we get home, get home from the airport, put the bags in. First thing we always say is, I'll put the kettle on for a brew. Absolutely. It's the only way What's to in do front it. of us now? Yeah. yeah. No, I've got hot water, which I keep <laughs> which I keep um, struggling to drink while I'm coughing. But anyway.